actual document. The members asked for it. It will be tabled in due course. Honourable Ruth Dyson, question number 11. My question is to the Minister of Conservation. Does he still stand by his statements on the Department of Conservation's submission on the Tukituki catchment proposal that, quote, I did not give the Department an indication of what that submission would be, close quote? Mr. Speaker. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, yes, and I back that up also with the record of the meeting taken at the time that says that the only action I required from the Department was for me to receive a copy of the submission when it was finalised. And I also note the comments from the Deputy Director General that I referred to in the previous question when she said, quote, unquote, he never told me his view. Supplementary question, Honourable Ruth Dyson. Why did he say to reporters on Tuesday, 17th of September, quote, I did not know that this draft document even existed until this morning, close quote, given that he was briefed on that very document on Monday, 29 July. Mr Speaker. Right. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, on the meeting on the 29th of July, I'm told that the department is preparing a submission for when they close Friday. That does not give you any great knowledge of whatever drafts there might be sitting within the bowels of the department. And that's where the member and the opposition are into faulty conspiracy theories. Um, point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, Honourable Ruth Dyson. Um, point of order, I seek leave to table the note from the weekly report explaining exactly what the content of the submission well, was. Hasn't, hasn't, this, docu that went order. To order, hasn't this document been tabled earlier? Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, Mr Speaker. I'll hear from the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, the very document that you have asked me to table that was asked order. for... I'm hearing from the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, I'm the hearing document... from the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. And if the member, Grant Robinson, wants to remain for the balance of question time, I suggest he remain in his seat and refrain. Mr Speaker. I'm... Order! I'll give the Honourable Annie King last chance. I am not prepared to pick up, put up with uh, con constant bickering from the Labor front bench when I'm hearing the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker. The document that the Honourable Ruth Dyson is seeking to table is the one for which you have already, that I was quoting earlier, that you have already asked me to table that I shall do so. I think it's also a document that was tabled prior to that from Eugenie Sage, so it's already been tabled in the House. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order. I am talking to the Honourable Ruth Dyson. For that point of order, because I'm now challenged on my right to table a document, the Minister in his answers to earlier questions, question 10, referred order. specifically and quoted the Department was, quote, evaluating their project, then referred to an email order. from a departmental staff. Neither of those are in the document order. I sought to table. Order. There may be some confusion because there's lots of documents being tabled at the moment. Earlier today, Eugenie Sage took lead to table the weekly ministerial update that had an item on this agenda. I took it when Ruth Dyson attempted to table a document. She was attempting to uh, table exactly the same. Could the member, Ruth Dyson, please clarify? Um, Mr Speaker, my comments were in relation to the comments that Nick Smith made. I asked that he be required to table the documents he referred to in his primary order, order, and that's, supplementary. Order, that's he said been, that that was order, the same document that I was tabling, order, and that, it's not. That, that has been clarified, and those documents will be tabled. The member then took a point of order seeking to uh, table a document which I believe Eugenie Sage has tabled perhaps 15 minutes earlier. Can we have that clarified, please? That's right. Well, I thank you all for your patience. We've order, Mr there. Speaker. Now, Grant Robertson, point of order. Now, now that we get to that, Mr Speaker, it's, it's more of a general point, which is that when a member seeks leave to table a document, clearly you are within your rights to clarify what that document is. What we're seeing increasingly from the government is to stand up and take a point of order in opposition to seeking leave. We have a right to seek leave to table documents without points of order coming from the other order. side. Order. This has gone quite far enough. 
there was clearly some confusion with the, your honourable member Ruth Dyson attempting to table something that had been tabled earlier. I sought some clarification of that. Nick Smith then took a point of order which actually assisted in clarifying for me that particular point. So we now have clarified it. The document that was sought to be tabled by Ruth Dyson has already been tabled and we're not having documents tabled twice. Has the member, Honourable Ruth Dyson, got further supplementaries? I have. Good. Go. <laughs> Why did he say in the House on Thursday 19 September, quote, in early July a 34-page draft submission was prepared by the Department of Conservation. I did not know about that until this week, close quote, given that he was briefed on that very submission on Monday 29 July. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, the draft submission, the 34-page one, the one that referred to the Tukituki River potentially becoming toxic, is totally different to the brief note that she has wanted to table. Yes, it does. It's totally different. And I simply quote again what Doris Johnson said. He never saw the draft submission that everyone is talking about. It was never provided to his office. And that is why I absolutely say I had no knowledge that that 34-page draft submission had been prepared. Order. Supplementary. Supplementary question, the Honourable Ruth Dyson. When item 5.4, Tuki Tuki catchment proposal, came up at his weekly meeting with the Department of Conservation officials on Monday 29th of July, did he express any opinions at all in relation to the Ruatenifa water storage scheme, the plan change for water quality standards, or the Department's proposed submission? Mr Speaker. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I'm going to quote exactly that document because it is of some controversy. The Department is evaluating the project. Submissions close the 2nd of August. The Department's preliminary view is that there is not sufficient information. And I asked for more information and a copy of the submission. Now, that is exactly what a responsible minister would do. A supplementary question, Honourable Ruth Dyson. What was his reaction to being told that a senior DOC staff member has resigned because of his political interference in the submission process? Mr Speaker. Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Mr Speaker, I have absolutely no knowledge of that. Uh, what I was... Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, I would make two points. The first is that... On the first Order. of Mr Speaker. Order. On the first of September, as has been a subject of considerable controversy, hundreds and hundreds of staff changed position with the restructuring, and dozens and dozens of staff were given redundancy on the first of September as part of that restructuring. Uh, I have no knowledge that anybody associated with this controversy has resigned. Uh, what I further note is that nobody has resigned since this issue went into the public arena last Tuesday. Question number 12, Nikki Wagner. Thank you, Mr Speaker.